In a small rural business unit in Sussex, Rob Gearing and the Spartan team are building bipods. Lots of bipods for a growing domestic and international market. We first met Rob in 2015 hunting ibex in Kyrgyzstan with outfitter Tomo Svetik and Tier 1's Craig Coot. Rob's company has continued to gain momentum and is now producing thousands of bipods every month. We catch up with Rob after a productive trip to the United States, spreading the Spartan message. While he was there, he filmed this close encounter with a bear and her cubs. It shows that this mountain climbing adrenaline hunter still enjoys pushing the limits. Mr G in Montana, and um, I'm doing this for the British Field Sports Channel, my friend David Wright and Charlie, and I hope that you'll put this on. It started about six years ago. I used to take clients out stalking a lot. And I basically had a Harris bipod permanently glued to my rifle. Great bit of kit, not out to knock it. The functionality of them, they're excellent. They've done the job and hence they haven't changed because why change something that works? But I got really fed up with the bad balance of the rifle. I got really fed up with the thing sticking in my shoulder. I got fed up with its weight. And I also got fed up with that ding, watching a roebuck disappear. Or even more importantly, a client going ding, watching a roebuck uh, disappear when I'd spent the last hour and a half getting somebody into one. So I thought there's got to be a better way. Long story short, we bought one of the noses of Concord, turned it into a lovely piece of art in a different world. This was a different Rob Gearing life. And it was outside Ascot, outside the Royal Albert Hall, but we mounted the whole Concord nose on an Olympus engine bearing. To cover that bearing up, we put two clamshells around it. We didn't want nuts ruining the lovely lines of the Concorde. So the guy that did it for us used two rare earth magnets. And these things were hugely impressive. I mean, 16 kilos and tiny little magnets. And I said, make me a bipod that goes with my rifle with a magnet. That was the end of my genius. Oh, promise, end of my genius. He made a little Heath Robinson bipod that I then used for a sort of a couple of years with clients and everyone was going, oh my God, this is good, this is good. I thought, I better get this patented. I patented fixing a tripod, bipod or monopod to a rifle, to a camera or to optics via a magnet. So I jumped in the tiniest boat imaginable with no money um, and started paddling. And I paddled hard, I paddled really hard. And people jumped in that boat with me to help me, such as dear old Craig from Tier One, did a brilliant job. So I've had a fantastic team in that boat. So this is not a one man journey, never pretended it has been. Frustratingly, the UK has been the most difficult market for us. Whereas in Europe, it's gone insane. Uh, last month, we broke 15,000 bipod sales. I mean, we're three and a half years old. We sold 15,000 bipods. And really, the Americans still don't know who we are. I mean, I was contacted, the first contact, serious contact I had from the States was from the US SEALs a couple of years ago. And they said, we want a lightweight bipod. And I said, Ooh. I said, yeah, but ours is a hunting tool. And they said, well, forgive us, we hunt people. And I thought, well, fair enough. They don't want anything stuck on that rifle. If they can pull it off, they want to pull it off. Furniture, or the real estate, as they call it, on that rifle is precious. So basically, we developed a Spartan 300 and that works the same way as a javelin does but you have the added advantage that you can fold it up and store it aft or store it forward so it's a get you out of trouble bipod which is effectively what all our bipods are they're they're a compromise we don't pretend that we produce the ultimate target bipod we produced lightweight hunting tools to enable you to take that accurate shot when you need it and that's really been our drive and where we've gone and we're really proud of how we've achieved that. So now we're bringing out the tripod which covers everything from seated shooting to, yep, to standing. We're now working with a fantastic material to produce a tent to go around our tripod. Why not? The tripod breaks down to two trekking poles. So I'm, this is my mountaineering background coming out and thinking shed weight. But I think the success has been how the Rifle manufacturers have embraced this. Blaza, bless them, you know, at the end of the day, they were the first guys to take it on board. And that's been a huge success, I think, for Blaza and for us. 
and now we're concentrating on America. Well, I've just returned from the States. We had a great TV interview with Jason Hairstein from Kuyu. I think he's going to be doing something with us, Schnees. We're already doing some stuff with Weatherby. You cut me in half and bipods will fall out of me at the moment. And uh, all the time that is the way I feel I'm enjoying the journey. I'd like to get out and do a bit more hunting again and doing the things I'm really passionate about, but I'm meeting great people that I really like and enjoy being with that share the same views and values that I do. If you would like to find out more about these Spartan products, go to javelinbipod.co.uk.